Shonam Aleichem, I will try and summarize uh, as short as possible the problem of our youth. What's happening not in thousands of homes, but in tens of thousands of homes all over the world. Lakewood, Eretz Yisrael, Jerusalem, Lebanon, all over the world. It has nothing to do with where did we fail. Nothing to do with it. It's a general phenomenon covering all Clarice soil. We are before the end. There is a term which is called Yerida Sadeiros. Each door is, go, is going down. down. Tanoim and Amoroim said, if Rishonim are like Bnei Odom, people, we are like Chamoirim, donkeys. This, was, this is the difference between one generation to the other, and they said it then, 2,000 years ago. We are still in the same situation, we came to the bottom. We are before the end, Reb Chaim Kanevsky says it. What is this phenomenon? Every door, the good neshomet, the, go, the neshomet that were met, uh, amended, metukan, become gilgulim, gilgul after gilgul. So the gilgul that comes down to the region, if it makes its, it makes its job, and is amending the chatoim daverus that he came to amend in this in in a certain generation, then the neshama goes up and waits for trias amazing. But the remains of these parts of the neshamas, which are not still amended, go down to the next generation and next generation. So each generation is worse. The, the, the stone heart covers the, the heart and you cannot you reach. Now, I'm not talking to you as a darshan, as a Torah darshan. I'm talking to you as my wife and myself went through these same experiences with our children. I'll give you one, one example. One of our children until the age of 27 slept all day long, did not only not mitzvahs, he didn't work, didn't do anything at all, and at night turns around all the discotheques of Jerusalem until the age of 27. Today, I wish to pray the way he prays, the way he davens, with no exaggeration. And he built a home, as an excellent husband and father. So, and I have still, we have still today, grandchildren, which are the same situation that we are talking about. They are clothed like Shiloinim, they go Kitzel. And the pure good Neshomas. The Zohar Kodesh says that in this stone heart there is a princess, Bat Melech, which is the Shechine Agdoisho, the dwelling of the Kodesh Boru in these souls, each soul of each Jew, Nefesh Achayim, Echayim Volozhin, says it openly, that the inner part of each Jewish Neshome is godly, Elokut Mamesh. And this point, this princess, this Batmelech, is covered with layers of clippers which you cannot penetrate. There's only one way to get through these Nishon, to get through to this Batmelech. And the Zohar says it, Bepiyuse, which means with love. The love melts this stone, this rock. Moshe Rabbeinu will be the third Mashiach after Mashiach Ben Yosef, which fights against the Goyim. Mashiach Ben Dovid, the Mashiach after him, will is true. And Moshe Rabbeinu is the Mashiach Ashlishi, at Yavo Shilo, Shilo Gimat Yamoshe, and he will amend this, hitting the stone that he hit when he was there, yes, 3,400 years ago, when he hit the stone, and he closed the stone. It's unbelievable even to say it, yeah? For 3,400 years. And he's buried in the Golus, not in the soil, to give strength to the souls which are sit, still fighting against these clippers, these outside powers which cover, cover these princes, this dwelling of the Kodiboro in the center of our souls. And he will be Mashiach HaShlishi. This is our job. We have these children in our, in our homes. We have to get into the source. There is no other way. Any other alternative is worse. You 
try to put him in in in, in some frame. Uh, this uh, and you have to you have to read the book. I I wrote the book which is called Oves Alboni. In English, it's called uh, Breaking Through, and I will give you a number through through which you can get to all this information. The number is zero two, which is Rusem eighty eighty three hundred, which is called Maane. And then you get an answer with rabbis, names of rabbis. So you press the button of Dan Tiomkin, Dan Tiomkin, or uh, Gisin, Ofer Gisin, and Shimon Shacha, anyhow. And, and then you can try and get this book. I hope they'll send it from America. Anyhow, or even to see discs which we filmed. We are talking about hundreds of meetings that we have with hundreds of parents every week or two there's a gathering of at least 200 250 parents which come and and and, and talk about this same problem that you are d dealing with so this in short is now a few questions if we will give love and we'll accept these children it gives such a, a it, it, it seems that it gives legit, legitimacy to their behavior. We give them love, we accept them, so everything is okay. They are not stupid. They don't think that their way is the right way. They cannot do anything else. But if we give them love, we give the strength to the emotional mature, mature how do you say, bagut mature. There is there is an intellectual maturity and there is a, an emotional maturity. We give strength to this emotional maturity. They are children. They cannot, eat, they don't have the power to deal with their own problems. The only content of their lives is the, the only content of their lives is the rebel. They are rebelling. They are, they are against the yeshivas, they are against the charedim, they are against all the institutes they, they were learned Base Yang came all the places because they felt in a prison. They were in a prison. They they they, they never connect. They never connect. I'm talking about again personal experiences which my wife and myself went through. We we know it. This is why I wrote this book. And we know it from our personal lives. Our personal experiences. They feel that they were in prisons. They feel that they and they have to rebel. The only content of the life is the rebel. The Meride. This is this. If we give them love, we give them honor, it's very difficult. I know it is difficult. They sleep all day long, they wake up at night, they go around, they come four o'clock, five away, come at eight and nine, six, nine, and they sleep all, all day. They don't dumb. They wear all these clothes. They are and another thing, if we fight against them, they are cursing. They are, they are fighting back. They are defending the, the, the independence. They are defending their will to do what they... The only content of their lives is not to do what they are, what they are expected to do. Not to do well what they are expected to do. This is the kind of life. But if we give them love, if we give them honor, but not a big thing, not a big deal. I did it myself. I did all the possible mistakes. All the possible mistakes. Fighting, hitting, throwing away from home, whatever you want. And I remember the day, 20 years ago, when suddenly it, 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 uh, it came through. What? Hit me. It came through. They are anusim. Not only they are not Mezidim, they are not even Shoyigim, they are Anusim. Anusim, they are, that means uh, they cannot help. They cannot help themselves. Cannot help themselves. And no psychology, they don't have psychological problems. People send them to doctors, maybe this, maybe that, and maybe medicines. Nothing to do with it. The only medicine is love. It is very difficult. I know it. But if you come, overcome yourself, and you and you are calm, 
ten years. I, because why you come? Because I want to tell you, I'm not a novi, I'm not a prophet, but I, I can promise you one thing: no, no question about it. All these children will be tzaddikim gmurim. You know why? Because there are three partners in each Jewish soul. His father gives his the love and what he gives, the mother gives there, and the Kodibo gives him the Shomer. And they are children of the Kodibo, not less than they are our own, our own children. And he will not leave them go. He will not let them stay where they are because they are losing. They cannot help themselves. So the Kodesh Boru will help and the Wiz will come in a time when the Apostle Gre'u Ata Ki Ani Ani Hu. The Kohen says, Why twice Ani? Ani is the name of the Kodesh Boru Aesop. And Ani is my own Ani, which is down there. The Kohen says, Ani Ad Aesop. And Ani Ad Aesop. The, the, the lowest part in the soul will combine together. What Ki Ani Ani Hu. No other power. And this minute, we are, we are not far away from this. We are very close. We, what our job is, to give them love. To let, to, to build their, their emotional maturity. To, heal, to build their emotional maturity. We love you. Not we love you, we know you'll be a tzaddik. Don't make this mistake. No, we know you'll be a tzaddik. No, we love you as you are. You are our child. You'll ever be our child. It gives them strength. It gives them the ability to to be somebody, to feel that they are worth. That there is, and the, you, when you build this emotional maturity, this me, this I, this inner I, you build the ability that one day they will stand and they will understand that the whole world cannot give them any nothing at all. All these things that they look from inside the Haredi world, outside it, ah, this, this. They see the truth. But the difference will be they have the strength to begin and fight against it. To begin and build their own personality according to what they understand. Today they also know the truth, but they cannot admit it. They cannot admit the truth because admitting the truth obliges them and they don't have the power to fight. They don't have the power to struggle for it. So, if you give them love, you give them honor, you build it, you build their own, their emotional personality, then this is from all of the alternatives, this is the less worse. The less worse. I'm not saying that they, it, it solves all the problems. This, in general, is introduction. You have to read this book. I'm going to call now America and ask them, to send through Mane, 80, 80, 300, Jerusalem, 80, 80, 300, you'll get the people who deal with these things, they are experts, they know. I hope that the books will come. The question was, no limits at all, no discipline at all, whatever he says, whatever he does it. The result will be this. If you give them love, you give them honor, then they will be ready to understand that you are living together in co-partnership. Don't tell him not to see whatever he sees there on his iPhone or whatever he sees. If you give them honor, if you give them love, they will cooperate. The same with other children. I think about the question because I forgot to uh, deal with the, this question. People ask, what about the other children? They see that he wears the way he wants to wear. We give him honor, we give him love. So maybe, so why not I? This is not the situation. They, w w why do the other children might, might be influenced by, by such a boy or such a girl? Because if there's a fight, if there's a confrontation in the home, they have to take side. I'm for my parents, I'm, usually they identify with the brother, <clears throat> the same age. So if there is a fight, they take side, a side. But if, we they don't fight. We accept them. And if they ask, we tell them every I'm old I'm talking about my own ex, our own experiences in this home. We tell them each one makes his own way to the boy alone. And we tell them about Rabbi Akiva. Says your brother, your your sister, he wants to take a stick and hit Talmud Chochem, break his bones? Of course not. So we wanted there was a Jew. 
wanted to break the bones of every Tanu Chochem. He wanted to, to bite him like a donkey. They asked him, his pupils they asked him, a dog is not enough? He said, no, a dog is not enough. But a dog doesn't break the bones. A dog, so he was, and he was an Amaris. He was against, he was fighting against, and he, until the age of 40. And he became Rabbi Akiva. All our terrorists were Rabbi Akiva. Our brother is our sister, if it's a girl or a boy. They are tzaddikim. They will make their own way to the boy, you know. And children accept it. But there's no confrontation in the home, in, at home, inside the, our homes. Then they don't have to take sides. I have for my parents for this. Because there's no fight. Again, I'm talking about our own experience. These two grandchildren that we have. That they are neshomes yekoris. They are, as like I said, they like, they dress like shilohinim. They have the, uh, they go around in pubs. They drink beers. They are part of our families, a legitimate part. They are loved by all the children, or by all the grandchildren. They are, they are, they are part of the family, and we wait, and they talk, and we talk to them. Everybody talks to them. They are friends. We are friends. We love each other. This is the only remedy. No other remedy. So children live, they accept every fact of life as a fact. This is a fact. So these are the children and we love them, they are part of the family. Why they do this? They get an answer. They don't deal with it so much. They have their own worlds, their own thoughts. There's no confrontation. They don't have to take sides. Usually it works. So if we cooperate, if we give them love, they will also cooperate only way. If we fight, if we put limits, they rebel, they break it. Because limits is the story of their lives. They come out from the shivas, from each angel, which for them is a prison of limits. Muta asur, asur muta. They cannot stand it. Understand. We know from many, many parents, many, many parents, that uh, we have their reactions that uh, we are talking about hundreds of parents, that it works. It takes time, it doesn't make miracles, it doesn't change the souls of these boys and girls in one night, but it works. It, they become calm and they begin to advance and they begin with work, with the Eretz Kadma Latoyo, with, uh, they cooperate. Of course it works, no question about it. If we wouldn't work, I wouldn't sit here and talk about it. We would make seminars after seminars with parents which come and, and, and they get help. The exterior appearance is, 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 a, is a, an expression of the personality. They have to dress differently. They have, this is, this is a, an expression of, I'm doing my own way. I'm doing what I want. As I said, the content of their lives is to do what I, in Hebrew it says, mashabali, whatever, whatever I want, I do whatever I want. This is the content of life. If we accept it, and we also don't have to fight, but you, have, you don't have anybody to fight against, you don't have to defend any, 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 any limits, points in, 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 in what, you don't have to defend, so you, you calm down. It doesn't take a long time. It doesn't take a long time if we change, if we change our attitudes, it might take a few weeks, and the whole atmosphere at home changes, and they and they calm down. The beginning, they won't, they won't, they won't, they won't believe you. They might not admit, ah, you are doing this, you are changing your attitude towards me because you want me to be this and this. I don't want anything. You don't have to react on anything. You smile. You accept them. I get. I I suggested one more, one mother to buy an earring to her son and to tell him I thought it, it suits you because you know the color of your eyes and the earring. I will buy him, yeah, buy him an earring. I, many, many times I, 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 I suggested to parents to buy discs of films, f f uh, battlefield, I don't know, I remember, movies, all, all these movies. movies, movies, movies with battles, movies, this, they want to try, and they, all kinds of, even Romantic ones. I'm not talking about things which Hashem Yerachim, dirty things, but I don't even, yes, when you buy him, 
blessing. It's Kiddush Shem Shemayim Barabim. He feels that he, you are representing the boy oil for him. You are wearing the Torah for him. The Torah accept, accepts me. I will finish with the story I was in Lakewood. Ira Kodesh Lakewood. And usually I don't talk to youth. I don't talk to youth. I talk to the parents. By the way, there's a person called Avi Fishoff in New York. He is doing the same, all what I said here, he is doing it. And you can get to Avi Fishoff. He, he's famous in the, in the Haredi communities. And he has films and books and things. And you can mamish get a lot of help, Baruch Hashem, that I thought about it now. A lot of help from this man. He's an American. Everything is in English. You get material and everything you want. He is doing the same thing. Whatever he does, I want in my book. Whatever he does. We never met. We met three, four years ago. And then I saw a uh, miracle. I met the parents. And it's, it works. It works. Avi Fishoff. This is the name. So I was in Lakewood. And they asked me to talk to these youth. And then I met this youth, I don't remember, 100 young people. And they looked at me like this, you know, another rabbi with a white beard is going to give you a droshe. I said to him, I'm going to give a droshe of less than two minutes. I have two points to tell you. One, that the Rebbeinah is not Haredi. One of the girls jumped and said, he's going without a suit and a hat, and a, ca and a hat. So without a suit and a hat, he's not Haredi. Bet two, Talk to him. He loves you. Talk to him. Wherever you are in the pub, drinking beer, sitting over there, talk to the boy. He loves you. It was a chidush. It was a novelty to them because they identified the boy oilom and toyo with the yeshivas, with Beis Yankev. It's allowed, not allowed. Black and white. Don't do this. Don't wear this. Don't talk like this. Don't. So if I'm not matching, I'm not, I cannot suit myself to this frame, so it means that my Lord doesn't love me. It means that Kodesh Boko doesn't love me. This we are allowed to tell them. Not telling them anything of changing the way, the clothes, changing the way, changing anything. The Kodesh Boko loves you where you are. Ba'asher Husham. The Kodesh Boko loves you. Talk to him. He hears to you in every city, every minute. Ask help. Ask whatever you want. He listens to you. He loves you. Ba'asher Rabbi.